Oh, because, of course, the map gets updated again. Well, I guess it's time to explore the world map, no matter how small it is right now. Portals, because of course there are. And these take you to another area of the world map, although it takes suspiciously long to load. Here we are. Another area of the garden map, called Centralia for some reason. Hey, what could this be for? A new biome in the future, maybe? It looks only suspicious. Maybe it could be the swamp. Or the sewers, because, you know, it's a giant pipe into the sewers. Wait, are swamps indoors? Never mind. Time to move to another area of the map and wait a few seconds just before I reach there. And then do it again until I reach everywhere. These garden areas appear to be the much easier areas. What do I expect? Even here, which looks like a portal to a giant fortress or citadel, I guess we will have to see how hard this is. If it is any difficult. Well, it certainly looks like a giant fortress. A fortress with a suspiciously high amount of players. I would guess this is where egg I would guess this is exactly where most players spawn. And I can see why. And now it's time to venture elsewhere. Right into the desert. How will this fare, I wonder? Will it be better than the current garden biome? I would say yes. You would think with a map like this, there would be a few places to enter via this area of the map. There just isn't enough right now, maybe in the future. I will say that now that anholes are a lot bigger and a lot worse to clear. Before it took about up to 15, 20 seconds at most. It can take up to 3 minutes for this one, and the reward is not enough. You better just ignore them for now. There is also another reason why you shouldn't enter them, and that is because there is a giant ant hole that you can enter into, known as the Ant Hill. And to think that this exists completely destroys the idea of a normal ant hole. The only thing you can find in the normal ant holes is the Digger Mob. That is it. That is the only reason you should enter them, and most of them and most of them are of rare rarities, so it is just simply not worth it. I'm still exploring everywhere just in case, because you simply never know what lies beneath. Well, this is bugged. When you feel like a certain area of the map is a huge hotspot for some players, and look what we have here. It certainly is a hotspot for players. I don't have any time for this, so I'm just going to leave. Do you think they have forgotten their own eggs here? because they certainly need to refresh their own eggs. Just some random mysteries I see whilst venturing the wilderness that is this particular ant hill. Well, I guess it's time to enter the final area of this map. Wait, not yet, because you never know what lies up here. Ah, it's nothing, just as I thought. Now back to where I was meant to go. And it's down at the bottom right area. I'm assuming this is where all of the mythics and maybe even ultras spawn. This seems to be the only high tier area for now. And of course it is, because there's already too many people here. Was there any doubt in my mind? Of course there wasn't. But I don't have time to stay here, and I don't have time to see if any Ultras will spawn, even if I know they do. So it's back up I go. Now to find the ocean area. You know, if these spawned a lot more, perhaps Ant Hell would be a lot more profitable. Goodbye, Antel. You will strangely be missed until I come here again. But before we enter the ocean biome, let's check the other desert areas I have not been to yet. Yeah, because finding a rare digger monster is a good thing, right? Especially in especially in the sub area, such as an ant hole. Not the ant hell, the ant hole. It will be useless here. And so as I finish this ant hole, I somehow manage to enter another one. Great! Something tells me this is not a good idea. Good thing uranium isn't too strong. At least we know that Ultra should not be on the other side. Because that would be too easy. I mean, it is uranium, so the mechanic makes sense. That's all I'm gonna say. It doesn't matter, because ant holes are just very tiring to deal with. I'll just enter this area instead, and it looks like a very difficult area even though it is not, because most of those don't even exist yet. I will say, however, it has a suspiciously high amount of ant holes. I wonder why. 
even legendaries are not worth it. Just avoid them all. Nothing here, although this appears to be a low tier sandstorm zone. Looking at how many sandstorms there are, compared to every other monster. Just a thought. Nothing here. Oh, it's a shiny. Hey look, I found one. So I guess the last area is the ocean biome. How interesting will this be? Well, this is certainly interesting. Imagine travelling on a bridge as a flower whilst a bunch of monsters that you c somehow cannot kill end up attacking you. Yeah, that's where we're going with this. Anyway, to the ocean biome I go. It is the last area I can enter now, that I know of. And now we are here, this aesthetic looks cool. As we enter the ocean biome, at first it looked like a desert ocean, but the aesthetic looks cool nonetheless. And I quickly reach one dead end. Well, that didn't take long now, did it? Hey, wait a minute. This looks like a gemcraft map. And while there are monsters here, there are no gems. Which annoys me. Well, there's nothing of use here, sadly. And there is only one place left to enter. The sponge zone. Wait, this is not a sponge zone. So why are there many sponges here? I have no idea. Unless it is a sponge zone and we have no idea that it is. I don't think so, though. Anyway, back to finding the last area. This is literally the last area I have not been to yet. So I wonder how good it looks and how good it is to farm here. Hey look, I found the water temple. No way. I found one of the old Pokemon Gym Master rooms. Amazing. Haha. <laughs> bubble zone? Imagine? Nah, probably not. They wouldn't have a bubble zone this far into the map. But they would have a crab zone at the top of this area. So that means there are two zones. The Ant Hill and the Crab Zone. That is currently it for now. Until future updates appear. Yeah, that sounds about right. Being inactive here, waiting for the crabs to spawn. You do you, I guess. However, I will be waiting for this, because I know something will happen here. A new biome? Perhaps? A brand new area, maybe? Even part of garden? We will see. For now, I have been around the entire map. World map. So there's nothing more to show here. That is all.